Everything Home Made! Everything Home Made! Hi, I'm Rachel Peterson with Everything Homemade, and we are going to transplant squash plants into the garden. And I'm going to show you a very easy method to do this. Now, it is the same method as I do with cucumbers. So I'm going to cover it one more time and I'm going to show you what I do with squash. So if you take a look, this is the black plastic that we have laid in the Garden Prep 2017 video. Under this plastic, the ground is very, very warm. And that's what you want to have when you're planting warm crops. The ground's got to be warm. And this is one way to do it when you live in um, a northern area where growing season is very short and you want to speed it up. You want those roots to stay warm. And black plastic is an awesome thing to do. Okay, so as you can see, I have my squash plants out. Now, the reason why I am not actually standing them up is because it is a bit windy out here and my ground is uneven and my pots are going to fly so I just or fly um, fall down so I just purposely put them down for the safety of the plant for the moment so that's why they're down but I'll grab one here now these guys are looking good they're actually starting to um, trail and uh, and so let's cover some really, really important steps. Okay, so rule number one, 24 hours before you transplant, you want to dry out the dirt. Do you notice how dry this dirt is? It's not dry enough that the plant is wilting or um, suffering, but it is dry. And that is the key thing because when you flip over your plant, if the dirt is dry, it won't break the roots when you flip it over. Therefore, you won't put your plant into shock. And this is how you can transplant cucumbers and squash um, without cutting off their roots. Okay, that is so important to do. And I will. And then you want to make sure that you hold this plant when you flip it over. So many people just flip their plants over and then they break the stems here. That's not what you want to do. Um, the next. The other biggest thing is is making your, your your spot here. So if you take a look in the background here, you see these um, what looks just like metal. They're actually big shelf units. And this these shelf units are about this tall up here towards me. And they will actually span just in the back of my row all the way down. And they're actually old Costco bread racks. Now Costco about seven years ago was actually throwing these bread racks out and um, replacing them with updated bread racks and my husband so happened to be at the right place at the right time and we were able to take these bread racks home and he made them into a awesome um, way to grow squash because what happens is the racks where the bread sits on the plant vines all the way through so it's literally going to be a living wall this high and that long thick full of squash and the fruit sits on the shelves this stops rotting of the fruit this stops blossom rot this stops a whole bunch of issues that you get when you grow squash on the ground so i love this idea because i can go up and it doesn't affect the rest of my garden here so that's what we're going to do now I'm not going to set these up. I need my husband to give me a hand because these racks are actually really heavy and um, it's much easier when my husband gets home, he's going to set these up. But for now, I'm going to plant these in because they really need to get out of their container. So I will plant them in and then I'll take a quick video once we have it, have it up. Um, and then I will show you, I will take um, little pictures or little videos, five second videos of the garden once a week and I will collaborate that so you can actually see the garden um, start from this to something all green and producing. Okay, how do we do this? Now, I'm going to start over at the corner here. Just kind of move my way down here. And the reason why I laid this black plastic so wide is because, so the roots, so when I plant here, the roots can spread out like that under the plastic and the roots will stay warm still. So that's the reason why this black plastic is so white. I'm going to plant in front of the racks because the sun comes 
this way as you can see from the east the sun comes from the south and that way it gets the most sun so it will vine up i have for many years planted in the middle of the rack so right here i would plant here and then put the racks on top but what i have found is that it gets delayed until it gets through the rack is when it grows really good and I'm theorizing is that it's actually getting too shaded with the sun. So this year I'm going to plant in front of the rack so it grows into the rack instead of start from under the rack. So hopefully that works better. So I'll put my plant over here and the dirt around here is holding it so I'm actually going to make a hole here and we'll see if I can just punch through and twist and stretch this out here so I have a hole just like that and then I'm going to dig a pretty good size hole you guys this year I was I didn't even know if I was gonna actually do a garden because we're in a brand new spot and you know what happens when you move in the fall and then you overwinter sometimes you just don't know what the spring's gonna be and so I started my squash with no grow lights a very an east facing window that hardly had any sun so I am so happy how they even turned out because we cat sit too we have a boarding um, in our home and I couldn't even put the squash plants or any of my plants anywhere in the house because the cats would have eaten it all so I was at a little bit of a dilemma but I am so happy how they turned out um, they're a little more leggy that's why I had to support them than I normally get but that's just because I couldn't get they didn't have them underneath the grow light but other than that I think they turned out pretty good hey all right yeah for for the lack of uh, resources that I usually have okay so what we're gonna do if you take a look at my hole and you take a look at your plant. Now, I can plant the squash up to here because all of this will actually root. So I can help these leggy plants out. So I'm gonna drop my cup in and I'm gonna go, is that deep enough? And I think I wanna go a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do after this too is as these plants grow, I have ducks and geese and I'm going to put some fresh manure in a bucket and make some um, poo tea, manure tea with that and that'll really boost these guys up. Okay, I love my ducks and geese. So I dropped some water in, make sure it's well watered because it is going to be 26 degrees and we're having a really hot snap here. And no, And the other important thing is you guys, if you can, plant in the evening now I did my cucumbers in the evening I did my um, corn in the evening but I am unable to do everything in the evening in a perfect world you want to transplant in the evening that way it gives them all night to get over shock but we don't always live in a perfect world so I took that string off now you what you want to do is take your hand and you want to put your hand all in between these stems so they're completely supported okay then you want to tip it you want to just squish these this is why I love these cup containers I'm gonna just move it around now these are gonna be a bit tight because I know their root systems are big there we go look at that look at that beautiful and this is what's so wonderful about growing more than one plant in a pot they will actually hold themselves together so if I hold this this is what happens when you don't water just before you transplant nothing is heavy I never broke a single root look how clean that is and this is why I always grow my squash and my cucumbers with buddies because they actually support themselves and you get much better plants happier plants too if you grow them with buds I keep telling my kids plants like to have friends they don't like to just grow by themselves they like to have buds in the same place 
And that seems to be holding true more and more that I, when I garden, I keep finding this theory of mine that plants like buds to just keep holding true more and more. So I wanna press that down. I want their roots to touch that water and I keep filling them in here. I'm just gonna take my dirt here and keep filling this, this hole in. I'm gonna just break up some of my clumps and the first plant is in and looking good. Beautiful. <sighs> nice and there. And then what I wanna do is these guys love water. Don't ever short your squash out of water. And now that they're we're completely almost dried right out, I'm just gonna water them in really, really good. And there you have it, you guys. Squash in. Um, and uh, if it is too hot today, I will actually put some um, flower pots that I'm not using and just in front of it to shade them a little bit for today so the sun doesn't stress them out as much just for, for the first 24 hours. Other than that, that's all that is to it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer all your questions. Thanks so much for watching.